People like to say voter fraud is a major issue. However, it doesn't really happen that often. In Ohio, in the general elections of 2002 and 2004, only four voters in 9,078,728 weren't registered. So that means there's a, only a point oh 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 four four percent rate of voter fraud, which is minuscule. Trump made it an issue in the recent election and made people scared about voter fraud and created the stigma about it. Uh, however, having voter ID would eliminate any doubt whether the person can vote. In Georgia, Indiana, and Missouri, they require a photo ID and every other state, so all the other uh, 47, either fall into four categories, whether no documentation is required, no uh, document request, documentation is requested but not required, photo ID is requested but not required, and document ID is required. For, let's take the uh, no documentation ID is required. Sometimes you only need to state your name, take an oath to say who you are who you are, or cite their birth date, and your address. So, in that case, I live in the Senate Building Office of 317 Delaware Avenue, New England, Washington, D.C. I was born on February 20th, 1942, and my name is Mitch McConnell, and I'm a, and I'm a turtle. So, I just impersonated Mitch McConnell, and they would have no idea that I had done that. Another thing, under the Fourth Amendment, it prohibit, prohibits unreasonable search and seizures. This creates a right to privacy that every U.S. citizen has. So, according to the law for people to ask for photo ID, it includes more information that is needed to, to verify your uh, identification. So that's why it is in violation of privacy and therefore a uh, big issue. However, if a photo ID were given to any person when they register, since people already get a little slip of paper in the mail that has the voter identifications, it would just be a matter of putting a picture on it, which would then only have the required information to vote and wouldn't violate your privacy because there's no, as like there's no other information, like your weight, height, date of birth, anything that would be in violation of your privacy. So some states, when getting a license, the uh, employees there ask you if you want to register to vote. So it would only be a matter of taking the picture from your license, sending it to the agency who issues the cards, and they'll just have to put it on there. But the problem is getting that law and into practice and proposing it to the Senate and House, which is where the problem is. But this uh, suggestion wouldn't violate any laws of privacy because it doesn't give you any other information other than what's required for voting.